In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to get a gel mani like a pro and share with you some useful tips as well as answer some of your questions about gel. To get started, let's go over what you'll need. You'll need a wooden stick, a nail file, a buffer, a lint free wipe and alcohol, primer if you really want a long lasting mani, base coat, a colored polish, top coat, cuticle oil, and a really good strong LED lamp. The LED lamp I'll be using in this video is from Vanity Planet and it's their Pro Dry LED Nail Dryer. I've been using this smaller Vanity Planet glow dry lamp for years now, so when they asked me if I wanted to try the Pro in, I was like, of course, and so far I think I like this one more. It comes with four timer presets, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and 30 minutes. This energy efficient LED lamp also comes with 50,000 hours of power and has a one year warranty, so if something does go wrong, they'll replace it. It's also super lightweight while still being roomy enough for your whole hand. This lamp retails for normally $120, but Vanity Planet gave me a coupon code for you guys to use, which brings this bad boy down to only $36. That's less than the smaller lamp that I was using before. So if you guys are interested or in the market for a new lamp, just check the description box below for more information. So let's get started. To begin your gel manicure, make sure your nails are clean, free of old polish and groomed. This includes pushing your cuticles back, following the shape, and giving the nail plate a very light buff. This is gonna add a little texture for the gel to grab onto. Just make sure you stop once your nail goes dull and whitish. After that, use a lint-free wipe and rubbing alcohol to cleanse the nail. This is gonna remove any debris and oils from your nail, which are things that cause your mani to not last as long. If you have particularly oily nails or a lot of trouble with gel lasting, I recommend using a bonder or primer. This particular one dries sticky, which really helps the gel grab onto the natural nail, and I like to just apply it in the areas of concern, like around the cuticle, the sides, and the tips. And warning, from my experience, this particular sticky stuff is heavy duty. If you're wanting to remove your gel sooner than a week, maybe skip this step because it seems like the longer it's on, the harder the bond gets and removal can take forever. So now that your natural nails are prepped, it's time to apply a base coat. Base coat is designed to bond the natural nail to gel and protect your nails from the color coat. So this step is highly recommended. Unlike regular polish, gel is very thick and doesn't dry until you cure it. This means you're only gonna need a small amount of product and you can manipulate it as much as you need to get it evenly. I like to use a scrubbing motion to get the gel as close to the cuticle as I can and make sure I'm covering the entire surface. Then I'll go over it all with a couple full strokes to smooth out the surface. Also make sure you drag just a tiny bit of the gel across your free edge to completely cap the entire nail. This will help prevent shrinking and make your mani last longer. Once your base coat is on, follow the manufacturer's instructions and cure the gel under an LED or UV lamp accordingly. This one only needs 30 seconds, so I just clicked that little button on my lamp and waited. I recommend doing four fingers at a time, then cure, then do your thumbs and cure them separately. When your nails come out of the lamp, they're still going to look wet and if you touch the gel, it's going to feel sticky. But don't panic, you didn't do anything wrong as long as you followed the instructions and cured the gel for the correct time. Your gel is cured, this is just the sticky layer and it's called the inhibition layer and it's completely normal. Try not to touch it or get any debris in it because it helps the color gel you apply next to stick to the base coat. So now it's time to apply your color gel. This one is actually such a gorgeous fluorescent pinky orange shade, but it's completely getting washed out on camera. So try to imagine it's like 10 times more vibrant. Just like with the base coat, use a small amount of product and try to apply the color evenly over the entire nail. I like to start just below the cuticle and push the color up as close as I can. And again, run a small amount of the gel along the free edge to cap the color. If you're just starting out, I recommend doing one nail at a time and curing in between until you get a better feel for how fast the gel moves. You don't want the gel to pull up on the sides of your nail before you even get to your pinky. Make sure you're applying the color very thinly to the edges. Having it too thick there will cause premature lifting. Also, I like to run a wooden stick along the sides of the nail to remove any gel from the skin before curing. If you do cure gel on your skin, it might feel uncomfortable under the lamp and could also give your gel an edge to start lifting. Be sure to keep your hand flat in the dryer to make sure the lights are curing evenly. This lamp has faceted reflective inside, so it inherently bounces the light evenly over all of the nails. Once your first coat of color is on, you can decide whether you need a second coat to get a more opaque color. If you can still see the smile line of your nail tip, I recommend doing another coat. Remember to keep your coats thin and even and cap the tip. Cure your second layer completely, then you're ready to top coat. Top coat is going to act as a shield for the color and add some more shine. If you're used to using regular polish, it's really easy to use a heavy hand for the top coat out of habit, but you really only need a small amount. And make sure you're completely encapsulating the color to seal it in. 
And here's a tip for if your nail surface looks a little uneven. Before curing, just flip your hand over for about 15 seconds. Gravity is going to pull the top coat back to the middle of the nail and give you a nice natural round apex, which is the thick middle of the nail. Then quickly pop your nails under the lamp to cure and set that. Now that your top coat is cured, you can take either gel cleanser or some rubbing alcohol on a lint-free wipe and remove that sticky layer. Finish with a nourishing oil to rehydrate the skin and you have a salon quality gel manicure right in the comfort of your own home. So I went on Instagram and asked you guys if you had any trouble with or questions about gel. Here are the answers to some of the most popular questions. First up, can you use gel top coat over regular polish? Yes, you can, but your regular polish has to be completely dry or else you'll cure the tacky polish inside the gel and it'll never dry, which can lead to problems. Can you use gel to stamp? I've personally never done this, but I've seen it done and it does work. Just make sure you work quickly because gel self levels and that can ruin a delicate design. My mani just peels off in the shower or when I get it wet. Why? This is because the gel wasn't secure on the edges and lifted, which allowed water in. Make sure you keep your edges thin and seal the color in completely with top coat. You just cured your gel and it's all lumpy and bunching up and peeling off. This is because you put on too thick of a coat and it cured unevenly. Also make sure you're using a strong enough light wattage in your lamp. Do I have to have an LED or UV lamp to set the gel? Yes, I know there's a lot of regular polishes on the market claiming to be a no cure gel, but real gel polish has to be cured or else it'll just come off like wet polish. And again, if you're looking for a lamp, I highly recommend the Vanity Planet ones because they're straightforward and high quality. And with my coupon code, they're also affordable. Don't forget to check the description box for more info. Does gel damage the natural nail? No, the gel itself doesn't damage the nail, but incorrectly removing it or peeling it off does. If you'd like to learn how to remove gel properly, I have a video walking you through step by step on how to do that, and you can just click on your screen here to watch it. If you found this video helpful, you can let me know by leaving me a thumbs up. And if you have any more advice or tips to add about gel, share them in the comments below.